Hello there. Here is a video on how to spawn an NPC uh, from another NPC. This is a question I see a lot all over the place. People are asking this. Um, and here's four ways, actually, to how to spawn an NPC from an NPC. So, in this guy right here, uh, he just interacts and he creates spawns an NPC. This is just a generic NPC and I can set one attribute here. Uh, so I set its name to V1. So I click on him and over there you saw he came up with actual a name and then it was changed actually to uh, something else. So that's how this works. Uh, I just shorten, make this a shortcut here, this variable just for this isn't so long. I take event M NPC and then I can just say X, Y, and Z here and plus 5 so he's 5 away in the Z direction. Um, now this guy is similar except um, uh, I'm creating an NPC instead of spawning one. So I create an NPC, I put it in this variable right here and then from there, I can I need to set his home and his position. If well, if I don't set either one of those, he's going to spawn at zero zero. Okay, when I spawn him, so I have to set his position and then I have to set his home. Okay, just to make sure. Okay, you want his, both his home and his position set somewhere. So um, otherwise, they will default to zero 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 and which is very very far away and sometimes you find a lot of NPCs that you've missing right there at zero 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 which is at the bottom of the world um, so I set those two attributes of this and new newly created NPC that I put in uh, this variable that doesn't exist anywhere right now then I set its skin texture uh, I give it a name and then I use this command to spawn it into the world at, and it will spawn in at that position. Oops, let me get it. There you go. He's wearing, he's got the gangster um, skin. Okay, <clears throat> now then this guy uh, will spawn out of the cloning tab. Okay, so I have this cat in the first cloning tab of the server right there capital C-A-T. Um, so what, and once again I'm using the shortcut of the NPC just to save some room in the formula, make it a little more readable. So get clones, spawn the position five away in the Z direction, tab one cat, and then this tells you the world. Okay, so I just click that and there's a cat. So those are all interact. Now this one's a little bit different. Um, you can use different functions. This one uses the damage function and this is similar to the other one. Uh, sets X, Y, and Z. It sets the size to 7 of this uh, clone and then it sets the name to big and then it spawns it. So you can change certain attributes of, you know, just about anything of the NPC of a clone. So to make it slightly different you could change its faction even or something like that. Um, and this once again works on the damaged tab. So if I, that's why this guy is neutral. So if I hit him or her, I should say, I guess, and uh, there it goes. So, and you could also, um, what I did is you could use the collide. Uh, collide, I think that's it. Yep, <laughs> yes, there. That's that's the problem with the collide. Um, so you would want, if you're going to do that, and if you didn't want a almost infinite number of uh, NPCs to spawn, you would have to put some sort of uh, something on there, like a counter or something that would only uh, some sort of variable that would. Uh, only be, be set for like one or two or how many the counter goes for a uh, number of NPCs then it would um, stop the, the, uh, the command. It would bypass it so you would have to use some sort of stored variable or something like that. 
Uh, and that's why I have this guy back here. This guy I've used a lot in things because I often make a huge mess like that. I wonder how many guys there are there. There's, there looks like there's... Oh, uh, there's more cats than that. Yeah, they just don't even register. Um, this guy here, don't kill me. I use this guy a lot because if you create a mess and you have a bunch of NPCs that you create and you really don't want, this guy will check surrounding uh, nearby entities and he has range of three and two is the uh, code for NPCs. Um, so he will check that and if the name is don't kill me, if the name is not don't kill me, he will despawn that NPC. So. Uh, it's pretty handy for getting rid of a mess, just like that. So, um, there's four ways to um, spawn or create NPCs from another NPC. And like I said, you could use um, damaged. Oh, I guess I... <laughs> she's still she's still out Collide, except uh, I guess I... Yeah. So, you can use... Uh, collide damaged you could probably use the other functions too NPC killed somebody or if the NPC died you could use uh, those functions um, and it would be very similar to these right here so that's it thanks for watching